Hey guys, what's going on here? My name is AU, and I'm here to bring you a little bit of a different topic, kind of a, I wouldn't say a weird topic, but just something that's been on my mind a lot, a lot lately, um, because I'm noticing people out there that are creating content, thinking about content, maybe not actually executing, but working on content that's really going to revolutionize this Dragon Ball community. I'm not saying the Dragon Ball community needs um, a new avenue or a new direction, but it would be absolutely nice because there's about five groups in the community. I know people are trying to unite it. I don't know how that's going to work, but there's about five communities within the Dragon Ball community. You have the gaming, you know, all that stuff. You have the, um, just TFS as a whole. I'm not going to say parodies. I'm just going to say TFS as a whole, um, is a community. Um, theory guys, that's I feel like that is a separate thing. Um, I had one, I kind of forgot it, so we're just gonna jump to the fifth one. Um, there's like, there's, it's a big community, but they're not loud. Um, I feel like it's like the Dragon Ball Absalon crowd, but it's not just specifically that. It's just the people that are really interested in like Super Saiyan 5, Super Saiyan 7, and all that crap. Just power levels and, and just weird stuff that's just absolutely 100% non canon. And they just enjoy that stuff. Uh, they're just not that loud, um, which, I don't know, I'm not crazy about it, but, you know, it's Dragon Ball, I can respect it. There's another one, I just can't remember. It'll come to me later. But, just, there's not, there hasn't been groundbreaking, like, um, not gonna say relevant, but, um, viral, viral stuff since TFS, and TFS is still doing it, they're big as they ever was. But there hasn't been someone to come in and say, hey... I'm going to revolutionize this community, and here's what I want to talk about today. Um, I have three YouTubers, technically four, but we're going, to say, we're going to say three people that I can see leading, not leading, as a, as a group, even though they're not going to work together, I just feel like they're going to unleash this revolution. I'm not going to include myself, but just watch out for my content because I'm working hard and I got a bunch of nice equipment, so just be... Be ready for my stuff, but I'm not going to talk about myself. I don't feel like that's right for me to do. Just be ready for my stuff. Don't worry. But here are three guys that I feel like are just going to unleash something. Something new. Something cool. Into this community. Uh, we're going to start out with Omega Pro. A lot of, I know a lot of you guys know him. He's been around for a long time. He, I feel like he's one of the pioneers of the Dragon Ball gaming community. Um, but he's kind of fall not fallen off, but he kind of lost the love maybe because you don't know, he was going through a weird thing and then he fell in love with music. But now he's getting the inspiration again. I don't know where it came from, but now he's ready to get back into it. Um, he um, uploaded a video, Omega 2.0, Omega Pro 2.0, which kind of sparked me into making this video because I'm like, hey, He's not the only person doing this. I know other people, so I can make up a video about this. Um, I feel like Omega, even though if he can just get, if he can just commit himself to these projects and get them going, they're going to break. Because he has, when it comes to YouTube skills, I feel like he's all around. He's entertaining. Um, he has great, um, not great, but he gets by with his Photoshop. I feel like he does pretty good on the graphics. Um, he's pretty good at uh, video editor. I'm just saying pretty good because I feel like if I say great, you guys are going to compare him, and I don't want to get heat on him. He's a pretty good uh, video editor, and he has a lot of good ideas, and he has a lot of components that he can mix in because he is, like I mentioned before, he's a rapper, and he can do so much stuff, and he has all these ideas. I feel like he can break through and really pop. He can really get a good pop, and I'm a big fan of Omega. Just as like a dude, because I respect him a lot. So hopefully, he can commit himself and really revolutionize this community. And the second guy is a guy I've been watching for a long time. I usually don't watch AMV guys, but uh, when I do watch AMV guys, I watch uh, Elite Vegeta. His name is Elite Vegeta. And about what was it? About three to four weeks ago, he actually created a new channel called C Reacts. And he explained what he was going to do. And I'm like, this 
is insane because the reason why I watched him his AMVs I'm not even a crazy fan of AMVs but he puts in so much work and he's so committed to this so I'm like this is gonna break through um, because he's a hard worker and if he can just get a pop he's gonna go because he has all these great ideas with the C reacts he's doing live action pranks implicating like he has one where he goes through drive throughs and he orders sensu beans and you know it's it's hilarious because they're like what the freak and he also had one eating like goku in public a thanksgiving thing which i thought was perfect i feel like it should have got a better pop than it did it only has like a thousand views right now but um once he catches a break he's gonna go because implicating all these things and adding something new to the table I feel like Omega can do this. I feel like C Reacts can do it. And also the third guy, I'm sure you guys all know, not all know him, but a lot of you guys know him, um, SSJ9000, and I'm gonna also include SSJ Carter. Um, obviously he's doing the parody thing, but he's doing, he's not a TFS copycat. He is doing something huge, not huge, but he's just reinventing the parody genre. Um, he's taking just random clips, and doing it with that but reason why I'm putting him on this list because he um, using the word implicating a lot but I'm gonna use it again he's implicating not only parodies but he's doing music parodies and he's working on skits if he can get the skits going kudos to him because I'm also working on skits at, at the moment but this the special beam the music parody it is money it is money um, and I love it to death so he's gonna get he's gonna get a big crowd from his parodies which he already has but what's gonna really groundbreak it is his SSJ Carter if he can just get it rolling um, he's doing reaction he's doing gaming um, and he's doing I think he put one of the music parodies I don't know where he's gonna keep him at but if he can make it Dragon Ball themed I know that's not his avenue and that's not his direction that he wants with uh, SSJ Carter but if he can implicate a lot of Dragon Ball in there watch out watch out because he has an insane talent on graphic designing and he has the entertainment value like he's funny the dude's funny and he has such a a good presence on the camera if you're watching ssj carter he's very good and he just came out of nowhere like his his intro for ssj carter is ssj out of nowhere and really he came out of nowhere <laughs> Like, it's insane. He just hops on the camera and it's like he's been doing YouTube for five years. I'm putting these guys so over right now. But I'm excited for the Drag Ball community. I feel like you guys should be. So if I missed anybody, uh, I don't really watch Drag Ball YouTubers at all. Because I'm busy. I don't. I mean, I'm busy doing my own thing. Because this is my dream. And this is what I want to do. And I've been working a lot off camera. Um, there's been a lot of projects that went up and went down. I've been moved, I've moved and a lot of crazy things, but I'm settled and I'm working on some stuff, so just stay tuned. I'm ready to come. Um, not ready to come. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to um, maybe lead my own revolution. So, like I said, if, you, if I miss somebody, put them down in the comment section down below. Like this video if you want to, blah, blah, blah. Um, I feel like I covered everything on my cover, so I've been AU. I'm going to get up out. Peace. Thank you.